Just throw uh, away. Sure. You can know it with some uh, associates. Asterisk. So you don't want to look at it. Zoom in, Dave. Okay, you do want to look at it. Oh, you can't so know for important. sure. No, please. Oh, Just no. kidding. Sponge stock. <gasps> we were wrong. Sponge yeah, stock. That's why you zoom. That's why you zoom. Yeah, you always zoom. Now we know. Now we know, and now we go. It's one of my favorite things to say now. Tina 504. I like polyopagon. Polyopagon. Yeah, that's a fun one. I like, um, I like Kyala Nima. Yeah. I don't like, um, Sacco Calyx. Ooh, I like saying that Took one. Took me a while I like to learn that one. Incorrectly, though. Calophagus is fun for me. Sacocalyx. Hyala Stylus sometimes trips me up. <laughs> I have a sponge list. It's very helpful. That is a crinoid. Posing as a coral. I wonder how long crinoids live. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Let me look. Oh, wow. What do you have? What? A few years to more than 200 years. Oh, that's a big <laughs> that's a range. range. That's a pretty wide range. <laughs> that's like some to all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Unless they get beheaded by a sea star. Oh. And then oh. 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 Nice. Bamboo whip. Oh, good shot. Mm. Yep, bamboo. Sure. I feel like I call a lot of things lepidosis, but um, you can get away with it in here. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> I am going to call this lapidosis. <laughs> In fact. Hey, carry on. Carry on. Bridge nav. We can add another three zero meters to one zero zero. Oh, coming to the edge. Ooh, should be interesting. Go over the edge. Should Go over the edge. Yeah, let's see. How much of an edge? Uh, not much. More of a ledge. I can also, do we want to move the ship in that direction? Yeah. It's a large sponge, Walteria, possibly. Yeah, it's kind of That's a Calophagus. Uh, it's a little out of our normal range of moves, but I could move it backwards to get closer. Well, we can asterisk. we can pass over it and Look come back these, to uh, it. Yeah. Is this, is this uh, bridge now? Is this cool. reef here? It could be old <gasps> reef. Yeah. Whoa, what? Nice. So cool. That's awesome. Hold position. That is wow. Is that a polyopagon? Yeah. Oh. At two masties? Mm-hmm. 
That is my hardest one to remember. <laughs> but you always remember mushroom coral, and that's that, enough. Yeah, that's the that's the only thing I can remember with that. People know what you mean. Hey, Samantha, are you going to have them continue in this same? Uh, I'm going to see which side you guys decide to go. You want to go continue south or go north on this? I'd like to, I think we're going to have to just kind of zigzag a bit. So I think we'll, let's go a little further to the east and then come back to this feature. Do you, do, but you want to run along the feature going south? south. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a stalked anemone, or tube anemone. Ooh. Oh, oh, very cool. Oh, that's super dark. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is this a holotherian, or is it a random mark? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> that's actually a cool, like, moody picture. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Yeah. <laughs> Angsty, grunge. Emo. Emo. Wow, look at those ophiroids. They're like very regularly spaced. Oh, this is so cool. Is that a Tretoplora too? Are you talking about the sponge? Yeah. Yeah, that's a Trito. Tretoplora, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Got it. Um, Bridge, no? I think this is a primnoid. I agree. Yeah. Let's do two zero meters, two two whip. five. There was an anthemastus to the left. Oh, that's a cool shot. Yeah, that's really neat. Ooh. Ooh. Can you zoom on that, please? There are like worms on it or it something? It looks like uh, Lefroyella a little bit, but not. There's like some really small anemones. Yeah. Like maybe worms? They might be apicophorans. What's, What's an apicophoran? That's a type of mollusk. Doesn't have a shell. Uh, uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> There's like a really small Venus flyer tribe anemones that look like that. Mm. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Well. Oh. Is that a tunicate? Yeah, I think so. Really large. Are we interested in any eDNA in this area? Um, it, we it haven't doesn't taken. Seem I don't think. Let's let's keep going. Yeah. I'm not sure it's like dense enough to really warrant it. Oh. Can you zoom in again, Dave? Oh, look at that. Like a baby huh. sucker calyx down there. What is this? That mushroom like, coral? Yeah, like the part of a mushroom coral. This is cool. It's all cave-like in here. Yeah. Is that a mushroom? I can't tell. Oh, what the? <laughs> what is this? Oh, it fixed itself. Great shot Good of the match. ledge in Atlanta Cam, too. Oh, yeah, look at oh, that. Oh, that's great. Wow. Um, I don't think that's a mushroom coral. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think when we get a little beyond this and come back to it, we should try and get a sample at the base of this and yeah. see if it's carbonate.
Okay. Okay. Ooh. Looks like it might be a chrysogorgid over there. Yep. Chrysogorgia. Oh, yeah. Two chrysogorgia. No, I don't. We, is that one? Can we look at this one, please? Yeah, that looks a little more beefy. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that does look a little beefy. Can we zoom There's in a Walteria. What's this? Oh. It still looks like a Chrysogorgid to me. But it's so dense. Yeah. Maybe it's just the angle we're looking at it. Yeah. Um. Let me look. Is there a more fan-like Chrysogorgia? Um, it might be Chrysogorgia crises. I'm having a crises. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to ask for a rock in the next 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I might even ask Actually, for a coral. Actually, it could be a geniculata. Right? Hmm. Yeah. It's a really interesting one. Um, no idea what it, that is for sure. Could be a mushroom. I think it... Wait, which one? Uh, oh, Chrysogorgia prosper. Possibly stellata or crises. Mm -hmm. Both are biplanar. Note the two side-by-side -side fans. Interesting. They belong to the squamosi aberrante. That was in the right neighborhood. Steve, is that? Is that? Uh, Steve Oskovich? Yeah. Yep. Steve. Squamosi aberrante. That sounds like maybe an Illuminati, a sect of the <laughs> Illuminati, or something. Hey, Steve. Morning. Cool. Star-shaped polyps. Yeah, that's cool. I don't think, I mean, I haven't seen something like that yet. Is that a, I guess we could ask Steve, would you sample that if you were us? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, do you want some? Answer fast. No sample. No sample. Okay. Moving uh, on. Science Steve has that spoken. would be a very hard <laughs> grab to <laughs> put by. <laughs> it's on the wall there. Maybe I can... Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, that looks like another anthemastus up there. Cool. And I think that's another primnoid whip. Based on what we've been seeing. Look at them back in the yeah. crevices. Mm -hmm. All right, this is kind of more what I was expecting at the top of this slope. Mm. Yeah. Well, we got here just in time for the next watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. <laughs> um, what is this? That falling thing? Oh, it's a shrimp. Just a shrimp. I was hoping for a sea spider. Oh. Ooh. The top down to so the Adelina view of this future here on the look left is really neat. Look at this I know. That is weird. Can isn't we that? look at that? That's oh, weird. Wow. Looks like there's some tubiness in the back there, too. Whoa. Zoom in, Dave. This place is really cool. I don't have anything to say about that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. No geology terms for this? Is this a geology mystery hole? I, I, yeah. I, it, sometimes perspective really gives you a weird look on things, so I'm not sure if we're seeing a tube or just a hole. Yeah. 
have they seems been seen? Seems that on, way. Right? I mean, we okay. don't know this for sure. This is just based on our observations. But that's not uncommon, right? That certain species will yeah will associates will go with particular corals. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, there that can happen. Are we still moving? Or are we? We're no no move yet. I can put in a short move if you'd like. You, uh, depending on what this looks like, we might try for a push core up here, too. <laughs> you want to just sit down and then. Well, I was going to just around. pass the box. Okay, well, let's do that and we'll look oh, for a good pass spot. The box, yeah. Pass the box. Pass the box. Is that a holotarian? Hmm. Yeah. Looks like it. Mm hmm. Uh, enough scope on that side. Just go center. Kay. You know, we're kind of like Holothurians when we take these push cores, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> Wait, how so? I need explanation for this. Yeah. We fill up well, the like inside, we fill up a tube <laughs> with sediment. Yeah. And we then they get it on the ship and we Atlanta, extrude so. it. <laughs> we still need to get her in front of Atlanta, so yeah. we can just get lined up for uh, a push core. Roger. No, Samantha. We've been over this. Uh, <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie to go. Surely you jest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't jest and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. I can always count. On you. <laughs> I set him up. You knock him down. <laughs> Is there a particular area that you guys would like to set down? A sandy area. Uh, sedimenty. Area? Se oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, sedimenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. Boy. Unless we see any sea pants on the yeah. way, right? How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Once again, Mike is uh, the Herc Savant here. He just grabs the controls and takes off as if he's been doing it his whole career. Mm -hmm. God, it must be so much easier than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you're Adam. next. We'll put that to the test, see how you do. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, Adam, you come up here next, buddy. I'm plow. I'm, <laughs> we need to put the snow plow on the front of it first. <laughs> Just get all the push cores at once. <laughs> Just roll it over on the side. <laughs> jam them full of sand. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on Delta. Okay. Ooh. Pretty barren. So where do you want to take a push core? Dude, it, it all looks good. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what a Holothurian would say. Yeah, it's like, ooh, okay. the buffet is yeah, open. Is <laughs> Right. Let's see. Uh, let's settle this Atalanta startup sediment thing once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> what if the Atalanta pilot is flying Hercules? <laughs> what will happen? <laughs> We're seeing if the sediment stirring up sediment problem is the problem of Atalanta, Atalanta pilot, Hercules, or Hercules pilot. <laughs> There's something swimming right there. Probably a cusk heel. Actually, I think it's just a tumbleweed rolling across the <laughs> bottom. We're, we're stopping for a push like core. Like this. Yeah. Oh, we're setting up for a push core. Gotcha. Okay. Wait, you can plop it down and put it in stick lock. Stick lock? Where are we going? Where are we going? Anywhere. Any plop a bunch it. of junk here. 
Is like, are you just coming going? in and... <laughs> <laughs> and well, I'm just saying. Of is that where you want it? <laughs> we don't, we don't, uh, we're not particular. The junk is immaterial. It is material. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that did not work. Okay. So you gotta here. You gotta push down with that. Okay. So and then yeah, let go of that. You push it down. Yep. And then hit stick lock. Now let go of everything. Nice. So you're hovering. You're not actually setting down. That was, set a down. that was a question. You're full set down. Huh. Yeah, we're full set down. Nice. Yeah. And then I sometimes just go doink, doink, just to reset the heading. Okay. You got to do the doink, doink. Oh. Yeah, what are those buttons? <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> are the doink, actual doink. buttons? Sound uh, effects says auto -heading. doink here, <laughs> and then the other one over here says doink. This is stick lock, <laughs> and that's auto heading. Auto heading. Sound effects are key, though. <laughs> doink, doink. Let's not take the first push core. That one's done. Yeah. I was told. Oh, okay. Oh, they got one with it. Yeah. All right. Yep. But why are you saying not to take the first one? Because we haven't had any luck with that one. Oh. It is true, though. Have not. Okay, uh, can we go to sample mode? Sample salvo. So you want to do the second one? Well, there's our beak sitting there. Sounds good. <laughs> second one's good, yeah. Can we go? Uh, is there floaties in there? Uh, there's a rock in there. Yeah, just a rock. Those, those don't yeah. float. Sample trail? Yeah. Okay, coming out. If successful, okay. this would be Hold. sample one, four, five. If successful, it's going to be. <laughs> I know it. Push cores are the one I'm. You never know till you know. Resetting DVL. One day we can all bring a snack Several and bed on <laughs> the push cords <laughs> if it's going to work. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could, well, yeah, bring in a little bit. Uh, yeah, there. some more, more, a little bit more. Yeah, try that. Okay, I'll stop. Um, are we going out front with this, or are we doing a side? Thing? Wherever you think you'll be successful. Yes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of sediment here, so I side might be a good choice. Stop distracting him. going in well. Is it? Where are you looking? <laughs> I don't know. It's Can we zoom in with the uh, Argus view? It's going off the bottom of Atalanta, Atalanta, Atalanta view. Atalanta zooming in. Uh, yep. Oh, no, it's not in that far at all. Now where are you looking? <laughs> Atalanta. <laughs> <laughs> Atalanta. <laughs> 
It's a little hard to see. It's really hard to see. This is more like ESP, I think. That was not a requested superpower. Extra sediment perception. Yeah. <laughs> What do we think? So good? good? I'm taking it out. All I right. think I'm pretty good on this side. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is full. No way. Stay like that. <gasps> yes. Get in the hole. Oh. Great. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Nice goal. Huzzah. Great. All right, let's do another one. All right. I knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Need to practice on these tube cores. We're going on the Alvin leg after this. And it's oh gonna yeah. Be nothing but tube cores. Oh yeah. Who's the chief psi on I that? One? I don't. I don't recall. But it's, it's mud. I guess I should know that. You know what part of the world it is? It's off the California coast, I think. Mm. Maybe a Valentine. No. I'll have to look it up. Nice. Well, this one's a little tougher. You can't see the. That's it. You sure? Yep. I don't think that was so I'm, good. I'm not sure what we got in that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. We'll call it good. Call it a sample. Okay. Okay. Sample tray coming back in. Are these the same sample number? No. Nope. This would be sample one, four, six. Roger. Sample tray is in. Switch back to the other. Back to dive, Salvo. Uh, uh, the, the other, the fancy Salvo, whatever it's called. Fancy Salvo. Uh, the number four, four ROV. That one. That one. And I'm just to confirm, is 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 it here? Yeah, that's okay. the one. Yeah. Thank you. Which way is Argus or Atlanta heading? South. So, where are those sonar hits? They're not ahead of us. They're to to our right, to our starboard right. side of uh, Herc. Yeah. Okay. You can see a little bit over in the far corner. Yeah. I think it's time to make the move, Samantha. Yeah. What you think we we should go a little further? 
I think. But I do think that we can zig not directly towards three, but a little, no, no, other direction, like a more of a, like a 120. Like that? Is that 120? That's actually 120, yeah. Okay, more like 100. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Zigging. Okay, stick lock off. You bring any cookies for anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> You're eyeing my snacks, so you don't bring any of mine. What cookies? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, are you ready for a move, or you got to finish your cookies? <laughs> <laughs> ready, ready to move. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, actual pilot. <laughs> Bridge nav. Three zero meters, one zero zero, please. Really, a All whole gone. piece. Thank you. And for our friends online. Doesn't make up for the crane this morning, though. Oh. No. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Wait. <laughs> I'm fine. Tough crowd. I think that was today. I don't know. Okay, you guys are interrupting Annie. What do you have to say, Annie? Sorry, Annie. No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> Mike, I told you on your first shift, they'll turn on you in a heartbeat. <laughs> Just turn on you. Knock it down. No, it did not reach us chat. If you can type it down and send it in, that would be awesome. For everyone who's just tuning in, we are currently exploring the eastern flank of GEO 13. Our estimated dive duration is about 20 hours. We hope to recover tomorrow at 10 a.m. Our depth is currently 1762 meters. We do have a, a question from our viewers. Is there any similarity between the formation of the ripples in the sediment and the formation of ripples uh, of deserts and dunes? Wow. Our viewers love ripples. Yep. Um, yep. Yes, in fact, a lot of similarities. Um, in both cases, the sediment particles are being moved in one case by wind in the desert, but in this case by current. And when sediment moves Moving like this, way. it tends to pile up until it yeah, reaches a certain lap. point and then falls down the right. front of the pile. And based on the, the physical yeah. properties of the sediment, like how big the grains are, how light they are, how they can be moved, you can actually use the wavelength and amplitude of those ripples or dunes to say something about the the process of, or how fast the the wind or the current is moving that's interesting thank you and for our viewers if you have any more questions um send them in send them in the chat our team is happy to answer them i got a question for the viewers let's go what did you have for dinner tonight we had ice cream Sunday. Yeah, we did. And pizza. We had some good food today. Sunday's Just a big uh, food day on the ship. Yeah. What was the ice cream flavor again? It was um, chocolate and honeydew honey, right. mochi. Honey mochi. mochi. Which was really good. I don't think I've ever had ice cream with mochi chunks in it, which I thought were marshmallows at first, <laughs> but they're mochi. <laughs> You keep talking about this chunk. I did not have those chunks on my ice cream. I did not get any of that. But I those, didn't th even eat ice That's cream. impossible. Yeah. Wait. They were there. It was full of them. Yeah. It was full of them? They were there. Yeah. Thank you. Took How's the taste? Can you guys describe the it taste? Does, is it the mochi the doesn't really have Honey a taste. Do. Oh, okay. Oh. The mochi is like, <laughs> is like a chewy, denser bit. Right. Yeah. Chewy, not, dense not cake. pleasant. Is very super pleasant. pleasant. <laughs> Get out of here. I'd like to sleep <laughs> on a bed of mochi. Uh, yeah, I like mochi. I like mochi ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, the little ones? 
I like yeah. mochi with azuki beans. I've had some with peanut butter oh, inside. What? Oh, no. And in Hilo, there's this great shop where they have like actual strawberries inside of mochi, all sorts of stuff. Wow. What? The chocolate ice cream was awesome. That was awesome. Were there any toppings? I know there was chocolate syrup. Chocolate sauce and then um, the chefs made me some fresh whipped cream <laughs> and <laughs> broke into their supply of maraschino cherries. Just picked up from the mail buoy. Mail, yeah, <laughs> came in fresh on the buoy. <laughs> Cream Ooh. was a little off, I think. You know, so do you have your own chef up there in the high rent district? Yeah, <laughs> but it's not ju not just a chef because uh, <laughs> irons my clothes and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and to tone down the desserts after the uh, bananas Foster disaster. Right? Oh my goodness! Yeah, Wait, singe what? my eyebrows. <laughs> Fire alarms, you know. So we have chat tuning in. Um, that cereal, what kind of cereal? You mean? No. And then Man, one of our viewers had He's butter chicken and naan bread. Oh, that dang. sounds so good. Bro. That sounds very oh, good. Oh and then um, Wait, which, delicious which beef and veggie one rice zero, zero. bowl. Oh. oh, we've changed our heading. We're that's, living vicariously that's what through to you. Do. <laughs> <laughs> the butter chicken and naan bread. Wow. I was going. Oh, that, that sounds. I know that sounds you were delicious. trying, but this guy was trying to lead oh, you astray. I thought we were keeping on this. On mm -hmm. on. Dave, are you keeping them in control okay. in the front row? Yeah, I can't. Oh, my <laughs> <goodness>. <laughs> All right. so when, my when they fight like this, uh, ooh, this what do we got for rapid here? So we got tether wrap, so we need to come around to one. Well, zero, this shit move just started, just ended, so we do what one you need zero, to. Zero. One zero zero. Keep it going. All right. So you need to come around counterclockwise. Science, we're going to get a wrap out of the tether. And okay. Then we'll continue on our merry way. We need to come around counterclockwise. Yeah, okay. no. You just did that to us. Right. Anti clockwise. Anti clockwise, yeah. I have a great butter chicken recipe. I make it in an instant pot. Oh. oh. That's really, really good. Dave, I really you think you got to like bottom. record your recipes you come up. Come up. Come over up. audio because you've got the, yeah. the right voice for recipe instructions. Yeah. Oh, an uh, yeah. Alpin. Oh, Only half a, have you half a wrap right now. The Sarah Alpen Muesli. Like Say what? Alpen okay. Muesli Sarah. Muesli. Oh, Muesli. Yeah, yeah, Muesli. What's that? It's that like a uh, cereal we're made of like raw change. oats and change little bits of dried fruit and nuts. Oh, that sounds like gerbil food. Oh, it's no. a little, <laughs> it's a little rough, but it's good with yogurt. It's good. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My apologies to yep. whoever said they were eating that. I meant no offense. Yeah, well, they're offended. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Turbo mode. Turbo well, mode. I ate cabbage and mashed potatoes for dinner, so no judgment. You know, honestly, it sounds like you went back in time to the Middle, to the middle Ages. <laughs> <laughs> Going for it. It kind of does. Going for it. I had a pizza with the mashed, mashed potatoes. Mm. That sounds good. And then potato salad. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> a lot of potatoes going on. Some lateral, yes. lateral in at the same for our time. folks tuning in, thank you so some much for um, well, tuning in. Thank you for sticking yeah. with us. Yeah, that way. Um, continue to send in your questions. You folks are amazing. Um, we are currently exploring the eastern flank of GEO 13. Uh, we hope to recover tomorrow, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Our dive duration is about 20 hours. Um, Big Herc is about 17, our meters is 17.63. Oh, Alaska coho salmon, artichokes, and brown jasmine rice. Wow. Oh, my gosh, that's wow. Oh, wow. Man, shout out for the Alaska coho salmon. Wow. Yeah. You shout know, out for the whole meal. When I lived in Washington, like we had, you know, six different kinds of salmon or something like that. But then when I moved to the East Coast, it's just salmon. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's Atlantic salmon, too. Yeah. Often farmed. Yeah, very Often. disappointing. But no, like, Chinook or King, Coho. 
Did you get the, what, the striped bass or something? What did you get? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. People like, yeah, fish for Striper? that. Striper? What do Stripers. they call it? Stripers. Yeah. yeah. You got to get inside. Hmm? Lateral, you, lateral, lateral. Lateral left. Yeah. We do get good Shook. lobster. Oh. And yeah. September, when all the tourists leave Cape Cod, the lobster goes on sale. That's the best. Mm. The chicken lobster. Chicks, Ch yeah. Wait, chicken lobster? That just yeah. means, that's just that's the size. size. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I ran into John Kerry once in my fish store on the Cape. Really? What's Unless your fish store on the Cape? <laughs> the Clam Man. Oh, yeah, the Clam Man. Shout out to the Clam Man. He's super yeah. nice. Yeah. People in there are fantastic. I used to go to Clam Man all the time. <laughs> Do you go to the fish market in San Pedro, Bob? You know, I haven't. I haven't gone, believe it or not. Like, I Ooh, drive so by it all the time because it's like right by right. The, our facility. Mm. Yeah, at the back side of it. But it's closing, right? They're it is closing. They're redoing that whole thing. No, the, every Saturday morning they have a public fish market at the... There's actually several fish. That's where the boats come in. Oh, they right supply, down there, yeah. They supply all the fish to the restaurants. Yeah. Yeah, you need to figure it out. Um, <laughs> hard over. One zero zero, right? One zero zero. I'm feeling quite cold now. So the temperature dropped. One degree. It's now seventy one degrees in We've here. We've got like the most temperature sensitive humans in <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is point three degrees cooler. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. <laughs> Coming down. Yeah, come on. Uh, I have a friend who swears that 72.3 degrees is the perfect temperature. Really? Yeah. 72.3. Is there, oh, is there another whale bone down there? What? Wait, what? On the whereabouts? right of this little cluster, just out of frame. Right there. Mm, I don't right in the center now, to the right of the blazers. Yep. Like that? Yeah. I'm not sure. That one no? looks too big, but maybe. Like 40 centimeters that big? That would be... Uh, <laughs> that would be crazy. 10, 45. 20, <laughs> 30. It's kind of the right size. <laughs> True. Let's Everyone's finding whale look. bones. So what do we think happened to the other whale bones of the big whale? I think this is probably like the densest bone, okay. so I think it sticks around the longest. Oh. I don't know. It's looking less likely. Maybe ancient whales were just beak and nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was not expecting that explanation. It does look different than the rock around it. Yeah, it could I be. Think it is. Oh, oh man. Everyone yes. gets a bone. What? Oh, Everyone gets a bone. Oh. It is. Woohoo. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. go. Back how, many, how many is too many? That's awesome. <laughs> well, let's take a look it's because if it's wow. a, in better <laughs> condition than the other one, you got to toss it. Wow. I don't no, know. We need to have them. both. Okay. <laughs> but we're gonna stack the, them up. This is the last one. Be like, yeah, firewood on the <laughs> stack them up like cordwood. Yeah. <laughs> I would just like one that has like some just morphology intact that, that someone okay. in the paleontology department could look at. Yeah, is there someone already working on this, or I just, just I'm, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to sell it, right? Yeah. Like you're gonna have to go in and be like, you got to look at this bone. Because I, I think most people would be like, unless there's someone who f specializes in ancient beak whales. <laughs> there's got to be, right? Well, I mean, they specialize yeah, in ancient vertebrates. 
I so will look into the department. What happens um, after they like classify, do all their research on the whale bone? Do they put it on display? Where does it go? Is it stored? It depends. It depends on who's interested okay. in it. Um, you know, but in your in the museum or yeah. in the I am uh, sit down in the MCZ like archive. Is there like shelves of of bones and stuff? Or, yeah. And, uh, dr or drawers or something like that. Yeah. So in our collection space, that's where all of the specimens are kept, except right. for the ones that are on display. Obviously, um, anyone can request specimens, and they can be loaned out. People can analyze them, uh, do what they want with them within reason. Beautiful. <laughs> um, what? Look at that, that is really cool. Wow. Okay. Oh. oh, and it's got Still a coral. coral. On it. Perfect. Aw. This would be sample 147. Wow, one four it's seven. a 12. Let's go. So wow. if we put this on the, on the front porch, let's point it the other way. And then let's just keep track of which way they're pointed. Is this yeah. one bigger? Okay. Like 50 centimeter? Uh, I think that's no, about the same size. Wait. Right? Oh, okay. You gotta tilt down if you yep. can. Tilt down. <laughs> I'm like internally screaming right now. It is a little longer. Well, the other one is shoved back a bit, I think. Uh, So this one, is beaky end out. Beaky end out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm guessing the other one is beaky and it? in. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna write that. Is that yeah, a it's a tether. tether. Uh, what is that guy? Oh, that's <laughs> fat. That's a tether really close. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. In an Atlanta camp, that just looked like there's another one. All right. That's behind us, though, yeah? Uh, you gotta it move is on? behind us, yeah. Yep. You got anything else here, Science? You need to just wait till All we set. Okay. She catches up. Are we happy to uh, keep moving? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Keep moving. Bridge now. Moving forward. <laughs> I need a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, three zero meter is one zero zero. Oh, San Antonio. What you got? Just reading about the department. There are some labs associated with um, the MCZ also. So there are some associated with the vertebrate paleontology department. Control. Yep. Yeah, what, wait, anyway. what is the so if you MCZ want, you can just do this. Doink, in doink. what school or okay. department? And then you can let go so everything. the Museum of Comparative Zoology doink, doink, doink. is right. auto XY, a part of Harvard auto University, auto but it's altitude. not okay. like like oh, that is the department. That holds everything. Just but then yeah, there's, there's right also there, right the right Department back. of Evolutionary and Developmental. No, and organismic. Like oh, yeah, which is organismic. Our which is in that one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so there are labs that are in both move. of those yep. departments, yep. like uh, yeah. the Cervastava lab that I'll okay. be joining. Oh, the. the is associated with the invertebrate department. Is it striped panther worm? Oh, nice. Is that it? Three banded panther worm. <laughs> Three banded <Yeah>. panther worm. <laughs> You're like, uh, yes, chat, we yes, can, we did. Too, looking at things. That too. <laughs> Uh, that I looks less like a back whale boat than it did before. Uh, I don't know. Only one way to find out. It's way back there. I know. Adelanta can go look at it. So do we send in samples, uh, attention, jewels? <laughs> She's carrying them. <laughs> Take her back. <laughs> yeah, do you think they'll stop me at um, <laughs> <laughs> the airport? <laughs> Actually, bringing Atlanta to look at it. 
<laughs> joking. Uh, you guys are great. Not at all. I think that's a no. Uh, uh, that. Yeah. Okay. Well, mystery solved. doing here what are you doing there? well I keep resetting it but it's not oh you, you, we were in auto x y oh so if she resets when you're in auto x y mm -hmm. you'll go Shop. I can I can also wait <laughs> I can wait ahead, take it off Just, yeah okay good happy, auto happy. Is off. resetting DVL okay you're good good doink doink you don't have to be in auto x y <laughs> just hover right now. You should take it out of auto. Uh, out of altitude. Out of uh, altitude. Auto depth. Yeah. Okay. It's actually in auto altitude. Mm -hmm. You can switch between auto depth and auto altitude, but you got to do it from the from this page. Yep. So it's a, you don't have a separate button. Okay. So, what's the difference between those though? <clears throat> One's altitude and the other is for depth. But like, <laughs> <laughs> you can maintain a constant depth. Oh, or, or a maintain constant a constant altitude. altitude. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. So altitude was better when you're not you sure about the terrain. If you want to follow the terrain, yeah, uh, stay at a constant depth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you can't use auto altitude if you don't have any altitude. So if we're too far off the bottom, you got. Yeah. What do you use more often? Altitude. Okay. So chat asked, does the atmospheric pressure, or maybe they mean the change in hydrostatic pressure, affect the bones in any way when you bring them towards the surface? And the answer is no, that we, there's no like uh, outgassing or any kind of constrained gas within them. So they just come up wet and then they dry out. Uh, coming down. Coming down. Okay, well, we, uh... Right, well, there's a big seat pen, probably too big to be yours, huh? Yeah. Where? Too large. Um, so we're past the three-hour mark. We've gone 550 meters. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of yeah, up. Over there, but it's yeah. just stick, stick a lot of one. light up. But a lot <laughs> of stop and pick up stuff, so... Yeah, there you go. It's true. I think that's another Halop Terrace. Productive evening. We got 45 minutes left, so Adam, in 15 minutes, we'll do your uh, rock check-in. Uh, okay, and then I will just stall for 30 minutes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Keep it classic for the chaos crew. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in, Dave. Oh, oh not Halop Terrace. No, that one's different. That kind of looks like... Almost like a black coral. I don't know that the it's, it's definitely in the sand. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe there are black corals that live in the sand. I don't know. Look at that. It's got dark uh, polyps on a light Whoa. core mm. stem stalk. That's the word. I think that's. Anthoptilidae. Oh, I've heard that before. Oh, Anthoptilum is like the rock pen. So this is in the same family, different genus. Hmm. Um, if I'm right about that. Cool. I don't think we've seen that before. Yeah, no. 
Mm -hmm. We're gonna put another move in while we're here. Okay. Bridge now. You guys good to keep going? Yeah, we're good. All Thank right. you. Go ahead and zip back out. So another three zero meters, one one zero. Yeah. Are we going towards waypoint three? Kind yeah, that's of. a good question. Kind of. We're going this way, and then eventually we may zigzag back. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We're freestyling up here. We just kind of <laughs> want to stay up, stay along the edge, you know. Question from our viewer: Does the oh, I took care okay, of that okay, one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, where do we have people joining us from, Annie? Oh, good question. Okay, let's see. Um, so, shout out to our viewers from all over the United States. Um, <laughs> Uh, UK, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, Netherlands, Hong Kong, Portugal, Panama, Norway, Italy, France, Finland, Barbados, and the United Arab Emirates. Wow. Cool. Oh, I haven't heard Italy before. Yeah. Ciao. I can also see languages. Um, German, Dutch, Norwegian, Japanese, French, Spanish, English, German. That's wow. awesome. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Thanks so much for being here and for sticking with us as we explore There's a Kiel 13 together. Uh, maybe a bowl Soma. Mm. And where in the United States? Because it's late. That's right? True. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't show. Oh, it doesn't show states? Yeah. That looks more like a raw salad to me. Can we get a zoom on that? Yep. What's that long thing? Hmm. Sponge stock, maybe? Zoom in, Dave. Yeah, that's below Soma. Nice. Oh. Well, that is a sponge stock. Oh, yeah. That one was tall. That's for sure. No. Is that a very small crinoid in the middle? Yeah. It's so cute. Oh, it looks like it, yeah. Little baby. Oh, oh a minesweeper. minesweeper. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like, so you're on cue. The zoom of all the tiny things. I know, like, it's crazy. You zoom in and everything's covered. You guys ready to keep going? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Bridge nav. Do we think of eDNA samples are able to capture add, uh, di diversity one, one, that is very zero, zero. small and close to the bottom, or does it uh, concentrate more on macrofauna? So when we look at big corals. It's hard to say. I um, think th they end up with a lot of microbe DNA kind oh. of stuff in the in the eDNA, e but they have to like they have to have the barcode to compare to. So I think it is a little biased towards macrophonic because that's what we have the, the library think. for. Oh, okay, nice. But it'd be interesting, I don't, I've never seen the results from 
Um, we need to do gauges. The Nautilus hmm? EDNA we samples. Need to do gauges. Yeah, we need to do a check. Has anything yeah. been published, Samantha, from you want to take over Townsend's here? lab? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I couldn't hear you. What did you say? Has any of the the Nautilus Thank DNA you, samples yeah. been published? From Meredith Everett? Uh, Meredith Everett, yeah, sorry. Uh, that's a good question. Um. Okay. <laughs> a little bit easier. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. I don't update the publication list. Um, well, I don't do a lot of work on the website anymore, so I don't have it offhand. Let me see if there's been anything recently. Yeah, I don't think there's been any dedicated papers published that I know about or that we know about on the website, but um, maybe it's in compil compilations of yeah, other, from other places. There's a lot, a lot of work that's been included in, um, yeah, in the oceanography supplement and in other journals as part of articles about cruises in general. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, general output from cruises. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, what? There it is. <laughs> there it I think is. We completed up there. Our, our, all of our dives. I know, seriously, Cause dive's cause over. We've uh, seen everything. <laughs> we to. Okay, can I unmute you so you can do the best Sorry. zoom in, Dave, that I've heard so far? Yeah. Can you can you replicate that zoom in, Dave? No, look, I don't even have to. <laughs> <laughs> but you that did. was you the best said. one. What? That was the best did one I've heard. Out? <laughs> Wow. Oh, this one's too chill. So elegant. It's about to move. There Here it we is. go. There we go. Is it moving? <laughs> I don't, it's starting I to like, like, I feel like it's tense up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> it's tensing. <laughs> Did we have an ID on this? That's right. Hey. Here, we can check. I, Hello. Think we, I think we looked it up. And it's tensing up. Oh, it's going. So <laughs> we're on the wrong end for this. No, no, I think we're on the <laughs> yeah, right end. We're on the right one. <laughs> Depends on the person you ask. Uh, I don't. Oh. It's it does seem to be shortening a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. This feels what? very awkward. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> what we got. Like slow motion. Can you take the <gasps> manip moving. and just kind of... Nope. No, 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 look. Look. It's it, is. it is, it is. It's too heavy. It's you like need to... <laughs> we <drop> wow. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, is it's that... Oh. Yeah, it's poofy. Oh. <laughs> no, we have a word. Samantha, what's the word? Extrusion. No, yeah, yeah, okay, that one. <laughs> or okay, okay, okay. Oh okay. <laughs> wow, that's, that's <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> what? This is the most immature. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> not yet. No, it's no, not fly. yet. Not yet. Yeah, <laughs> this is the exciting wow. part. It's going to fly away. <laughs> okay, can wow. you mark that that's as a that was a <laughs> Oh, this oh, one can't wow. get off the ground. <laughs> oh, no. This one's... Ready to oh, yeah. This one's struggling. This one is lucky we are not a predator. Let me just say <laughs> yeah. that. Let's let it continue. Oh. Okay. Let's try yeah. them. Let's try to move for this it. One thing. Let's oh. It's still heavy. Let's fly away. It's... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great shot, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that highlight. Sorry, Dave. I want to go back and see what that do. <laughs> no. oh, what the What I do. Oh, we were uh, waiting on a ship move there. <laughs> 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 we can make a highlight of just all of our reactions for to all the whole oh, series. No. Honestly, yeah. Trace I think that would be a great highlight. Yeah. That would, yeah, I agree. It took so long. That one was, was a bit slow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
settlement though. That was that good. so cool. Can we zoom in, Dave? Hmm. Well, Soma again, maybe? Oh my god, kind of my cat's stock. name was Mittens. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What happened with Mittens? Oh, Mittens, Mittens isn't with us anymore. Oh. My Mittens, at least. To the, um, to the cat farm? Yeah. Okay, wait, what is this? That's Bull Soma, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Half an hour left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just keep it together. Any rocks, Adam? Mm -hmm. well, not quite yet, I think. <gasps> Will you want a rock what? in the next half hour? Hmm. That's a great question. You know, when I was younger, I collected rocks. <laughs> Just from the beach or, or wherever. And I really enjoyed seeing the different kind of shapes and colors. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Did you? Did you collect rocks? <laughs> I did. Okay. And Tell the thing that it. actually worked the best for me was when I knew when I was going to collect a <laughs> rock and uh -huh. then I prepared for it by uh -huh. wearing mm -hmm. pants with pockets uh -huh. we're and also yeah. bringing a shovel yeah. uh -huh. and did you make a timeline? For made a timeline. <laughs> <laughs> waypoints? I plotted it. I had waypoints <laughs> on my paper map. <laughs> um, Samantha, when did you plot your first <laughs> waypoint? <laughs> the year was 1873. <laughs> I was at the base of Local Peak. <laughs> it was actually I must reach a, the top. It was just a knoll back then. <laughs> <laughs> Geologic time. Um, Fell into a local depression. <laughs> that's, that's right now. <laughs> Definitely Ooh. now. Bridge nav. Amphidocella. This time, for real. <laughs> and if it's Bulosoma, I swear. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, wait. No, wait. it's not. It's Amphidocella. Okay. Three zero meters. One zero zero. Ooh. Oh, There's a mushroom coral to the left. Oh, really? Oh yeah, can you uh What corals? After you? this. Amphidocella. Which looks great. Can we wag to the left a little bit? Are they corals? That is or a like hydroid. <laughs> or a uh, crinoid. Noted, thank you. Are we good? There's a metallogorgia to the left with the squat lobster. Can we zoom out? Oh, I see. Down here. Yeah. Oh, is that the zoom in? Mushroom, um, or should be closer piece? this way. No, I think that was. Oh, it. that. Oh, I see. In that. Oh, wait. What are we looking at? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This oh is my a gosh! A tiny chrysogorgia with two big. I don't know lobsters. if it's metallogorgia actually. It's just a chrysogorgia. Yeah, that's oh, like wow. all squat lobster. Right there. <laughs> that's Very one of squat. the bigger squat lobsters we've seen, or else it's just. How is the coral even? Is it bent, bent over? over. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's bent, bent over. It looks like Taniculata. It is bent over. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Has it gotten colder? Just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> is this Groundhog Day? We're just endlessly looping. <laughs> <laughs> sea cucumber poops. Find a whale bone. <laughs> sea cucumber poops. I want to see one <laughs> more, more chunky hollow food. Is it cold in here? I think it's 71.6 <laughs> degrees. Yeah, wow. Oh, it uh, has gone down 0.4. Have we talked about ice cream no. yet? No longer. It's gone. Like I don't up. like the mochi. <laughs> it's gone up 0.6. <laughs> just oh, it's what gone do up, they up. do with the extra ice cream? Do oh, they just I keep actually, it for the next? I know, yes. I know where it is. Really? Really? What? What's this in the lasers? Yeah. Do Jose we want to look at that? Said, yeah, go in there and get it. Is it? He didn't say that. Never mind. He did. Science, do you want to look no, at this thing in the middle next to the lake? The forehead. You got a small. Can you see it any oh, better okay. here? Yeah. Thank you. Zoom out, Dave. Yeah, um, I have a better view in still cam. That's Polyopagon. 
chat, we are currently at 1777 meters. That is a beautiful shot. Yeah. Um, wow. I think this has to be old reef. Yeah, it, it really possibly could be the carpet. In. That's crazy. Can you imagine all of that being alive? Right? <sighs> We're really huge structure. If I were a mermaid, this is where I would live. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's can a, you zoom on that, like please? a hemi or a You wouldn't want to be where the people are? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> zoom in, Dave. The Metallogorgia. Walking around on those, what do you call them? <laughs> Shoes. Feet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I knew somebody would do it. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? That could that be? It looks like dainty, a like a crisis. Yeah, origin. exactly. Um, let's see. A little, uh, a little pep talk from Steve on shore. International <laughs> Symposium on Deep Sea Corals was a success last week. Unfortunately, we still don't know what all the corals are or how they work biologically. Keep calm and keep exploring. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Oh. And he said, also, Christia. get your postcards ready for the mail <laughs> buoy that we'll be arriving <laughs> at soon. <laughs> Huh. Steve, only, as you, uh, only if you collect them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have the star-like polyps? Could it be oh, yeah. Chrysogorgia crises? Here, look at this one. Yes, that's exactly what it looks like. Great. Okay, we're good on that. Oh. If you see any uh, sampleable, <laughs> sorry, Samantha, <laughs> this was not my not. intention. Not Absolutely my intention at all. Absolutely not. <laughs> this might be our only <laughs> chance. Wow. This no. might be our only chance. I mean, oh. we're not going anywhere before the next watch comes. So if you want to get set up, they can pick up the rock. Look at these. <laughs> these guys are Neymar. Whoa, look at that fish hey. back there. Is what? That a Is that a tube worm? Okay, Robert, no, 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 if you find a rock in the next anemone. five minutes, it's yours. No, no four no, minutes. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. He's Zoom in, Dave. rescinded his oh. offer. Tube anemone. In favor of this. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Steve said the most stunning statistic of the conference we only have insights to how corals reproduce for 4%. Of known what? deep sea species. Whoa. Wow. wow. Well, we just checked the Ophiroid box a couple uh, <laughs> days ago. Not, <laughs> not a coral. <laughs> and that was a meat cute. That was a meat cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. It's actually the opposite of a meat cute, but here we are. <laughs> that was more of a meat's cutes. Yeah. <laughs> meat's cutes? <laughs> I think that the, the Hellasaur and the Cuskill today could have been a meet cute. <laughs> that was the closest. I think so. I got that feeling. Are we setting up for one of these? Uh, yeah. Apparently. Nice. Just in the nick of time. This was totally not my intention. It just. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Heard that before. <laughs> what sample number is this? Four this eight. would be sample 148. 
Oh, oh so close. Oh, oh <laughs> you're kidding. We gotta, we're gonna get two rocks. Hello. Can you grab that fish? Just one. <laughs> oh, no. Just kidding, don't grab the fish. Yes, has to be a special to swim on. What about swim that guy up there? Is that maybe out of reach? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. <laughs> so close. Get so far. Is that a that same fish? Yeah. Dave, do you have anything to do with the Grafana Grafana thing? No. Okay. Question? Problem? Uh, yeah, it was not loading for Steve on shore. Uh, yeah, don't know. Whoa. All the beans. Yeah. Not surprised, I guess. What about the one in the lower right hand corner? I think that's where we started. Yeah. The one closest to this little cave like thing looks like it's free. Cave like thing. Oh, yeah, the one on the right. Down. Oh. That down. down there? It does look like it. Oh, uh, it's the one we, we already um, punched that one. And oh, I already didn't. punched it. Yeah, we punched all these. Oh. He's been punching. I was thinking that one, that next one. Yeah, it's solid. Oh. That's it's too bad. Breaking pieces off, but. Make a little gravel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's we're not getting anything. But it's okay. It's got something for the next watch to do. And for everybody tuning in, thank you so much for sticking with us. Um, we are now on watch change. Uh, we are hoping to recover tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Our dive duration is about 20 hours. We are currently exploring the eastern flank of Gio 13. If you have any questions, please send them in the chat. Our team would be happy to answer them for you. Um, also, don't forget our team also I uploaded amazing highlights on nautiluslive.org, so head on over to our website to check that out. Thanks so much for tuning in. 8 to 12, signing out in two minutes. Yep. I'm really happy about the whole area. Me too. Me I'm so happy we got to see. <laughs> <laughs> this one was, I kind of felt pity though. Yeah. I was trying so well, hard to like. Failure to launch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it got to that size. Right. So that suggests that it's been doing pretty well for itself. Yeah. It's been living life. What is that back there? Is that a big fish? It's a cuskiel. Yeah, looks like the cuskiel that's been that was hanging around in the same area. Oh. So, can you guys tell what kind of corals these were when it was a reef? Oh, it's a good one. Ooh. Huh. Possibly branching, maybe. 
no idea. Parietes? Parietes. Parietes. It looks like a lot of parietes. Yeah. That is the only reforming coral name I know. <laughs> oh, there's all. I know. There's like the Elkhart. Montepera. <laughs> What'd I do? Oh, it's a top hanging uh. Cheyenne, when you get a chance, could you show me the lay of the land, please? Yeah, so uh, we found this, like, interesting thing. It's, like, along here. Okay. I don't know how far it's going to continue. Yeah. But we can do little zigzags to stay with it. Okay. Um, could also go like this way. Could I see just the big picture where we are along oh, the hole? Oh, yeah. Ah, got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I say we try and stay along this feature. I mean, sort of in the general direction of the next waypoint, but let's, you know, stick along this. That looks, that looks pretty cool. Um, so see see how we need to move to follow that. This for now. Oh, sounds good. Sure. Thank you. Ooh. Um. Also, Cheyenne, where no, it no. shows uh, sample one forty eight. Oh yeah, uh, they didn't take that. Yeah, but say they didn't take that, so I would take that off. Thanks for catching that, Loopy. Oh God. Okay. If everybody's ready, yep. right yep. back here. Good, back here. 
And we've got two whale bones on the porch. Everyone's gonna get a, I feel like everyone's gonna be able to get a whale bone at the end of this trip. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you got a whale bone, you got a whale bone. Yeah. If right. you look under your seat. Yeah, yeah right, exactly. <laughs> You'll see Nautilus Live merch and a wheel button. Okay. So is everybody settled in, ready to do introductions? Let's uh, give the ship a second to get moving maybe. And yeah, I think we're all good up here. <laughs> you can do it. All right. Hey, Amber, can I get the gauges up there? Oh, that's bubble. Oh, you got it already. This is this one. Oh, never mind. Ah. Is that a sound effect? Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to make a sound effects box years ago. I like it. <laughs> never bothered. <laughs> if we had a soundboard, my god. Oh, like so no, no, we've already got the telestrator. Too many, <laughs> too many things. <laughs> Imagine you could have sound effects for every animal too. <laughs> I like how the telestrator. We used to have like uh, there are little buttons to make like a, a squid emoji pop up or like a oh like a gosh. smiley face. Those have been well hidden. <laughs> Uh, intro uh -oh. time? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, well, everybody, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. This is the uh, 12 to 4 a.m. watch. We are in exploring an unnamed guillot off the coast, well, right outside the uh, Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument, about 50 miles north of the Cayman Reef. And we are down here exploring this area for all sorts of uh, aquatic mysteries and discoveries, such as uh, all sorts of corals, whale bones that we found, geology, etc. And my name is Daniel. I am your SPL host. And I'll pass it on to you all. My name is Sarah. I'm the scientist. My name is Leela. I'm watch lead on this watch, science manager. My name is Lopi. I am the data logger for this watch. Take it away, front row. <laughs> I'm Amber, the uh, video engineer. I am Sarah, the Atalanta pilot. I love the way you enunciate Atalanta. 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 Pilot. I try and say it normal when I do it, but I just want to be like, Atalanta. <laughs> okay. Michael. <laughs> Michael, the Hercules pilot. Uh, Cheyenne, the navigator. Woohoo. Uh, Walt's here to the left. Mm hmm. I'm seeing quite a few of those here. Always pretty. Yeah. Sponge. Want to do a zoom? Uh, sure. A little one. Go ahead. Oh, did you see that little thing suck in at the top? No. Probably a worm. It was a little purple. Uh, I'm horrible, and I'm obviously not no, any uh, purple. Type of, yeah, it was like purple. Uh, and then all of a sudden it sucked in. <laughs> it's up and to the left. It's too wormy. <laughs> it was like a purple pom-pom there. Oh, all right, we're good here. Can we look maybe up to the left a little bit just to see where the... Oh, is it like here? Or no? Keep going, keep going. Oh, yeah. Two worm city right there. Right there. That was it. This? On the, the yelp. That's Whoa. where it was. Uh, it was maybe a tube anemone. Huge. Yeah, maybe. I saw one of those earlier sticking okay. out. We're good. That's Thanks. good. Thanks. Okay. Hold on. Huge stocked crinoids again. Mm-hmm. Different type. Well, yeah, we haven't seen those yellow, yellow red ones in a bit, hmm. but we have seen these red ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, what were those ones called again? They were... Phyrocrinidae? Yeah, but spelled like in a, I feel like there were, the, the, the order of those letters was slightly Fra unexpected. Yeah. 
Something like that. Fire, fire, Kranity. I'll go look. Oh, Phrenocrinidae. Phrenocrinidae. <laughs> there we go. Urchin. We Some are? sponges. We are. We're just peeking this way, right, Hannaford? I think we're going the other way. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, before we put in the next oh. ship move, can we just explore a little bit south and see, <gasps> like, what direction the ridge goes sure. when we're done with this area? Yeah. I see an Aridogorgia pom pom. Mm hmm. It looks like Bella. Hmm. You want to mm -hmm. zoom on it? Sure. Yeah, these look so different from what I thought they would look like in the lab. Eritogorgia? Yeah, or, well, Chrysogorgids in general. I just, yeah. I don't think we've collected one, right? Um, hmm. Uh, yes, we have. We've collected Chrysogorgia. Not a or an Eritogorgia, I mean. Not an Eritogorgia, no. Yeah. All right, I think we're good. It's Please. like a spirally sunflower. Mm-hmm. Really cute. This. Proisocrinity. Yeah? Proiso. Oh, oh, I was thinking of the yellow red one. Oh, oh yeah. But, yes. I think those are the ones we were seeing would be. I think that's. A little yellow sponge back there. Oh, cute. Yeah, you guys were talking about how this was a cool feature. A lot of igneous rock, right? Yep. Igneous. Yeah, pretty much everything we s well, except for the carbonate bits on top of the sea mounts, pretty much everything's right. igneous. Or at least was, I don't know, it, so much of what we end up cutting open is like surprisingly either either We've had some things that look exactly the same as these igneous rocks or near are near these big igneous flows and then are actually sedimentary, like breccia. Very mm. strange. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, when we, um, Adam and I and Goopy were uh, cutting open rocks last evening mm -hmm. and we had a really big one that we cut open that uh, I needed to break off a few big pieces first and getting inside you kind of see how the uh, ferromanganese crust really builds up its layers but it also traps in a lot of other sediment as well so you get like a lot of clays and all sulfurs that it looks like and yeah it can be like a when you cut open the hard rock that's there it's either like a breccia of some kind which is like uh, like big conglomerate. Like, yeah, conglomerate of uh, igneous rock that cements together or sometimes it even surrounds like carbonates or That's a heteropolypus mushroom coral. Go ahead and zoom. Or you have like the carbonate cementing it all together. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It's very interesting. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I got to cut open my first rock today. Oh nice. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He let me even keep a little piece of it. <laughs> All right. Well, we ideally, are good here. Thank you. I do want to try and let everything be samples, but sometimes you just get a little piece. Yeah. I will say that I was a little short. Like, my arms are short. So right. it's like yep. I had to really lean over on it and stuff to try to like, cut the rock. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Many things on this ship that weren't this, made for short people. Yeah, this ship was not made for a short <laughs> people. It's okay, we'll get you a stool. They do have a <laughs> stool. They have a deck stool. They do? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I feel like ships in general are made for short people. Like, small beds. Yeah, and then like getting through those doorways oh, that we're walking true. around in 
The Most stairwell. Rooms, the stairwell. Yeah. To get up into the yeah. mess. I'm always blocking myself. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the the real, the real heavy-duty work stuff. Yeah, so that's about it, folks. We're okay. moving well away from it now. Mm -hmm. um, and if we head, yeah, like south-ish is... Yeah, we're already... Yeah. I'll go catch up, but I don't... Um, we'll see. It kind of ends Looks there, like huh? Looks like it's away from it, I okay. believe. We'll see. Mm -hmm. You can always go, like, up or down on this feature, depending on... Yeah, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time grasping in my head like w where no, this feature is. I think it's kind of around that knob on the. Yeah, yeah. we're gone into this like abysmal plane. Yeah, yeah. It's like here. It's I'll just look back. Yeah, I think it's kind of just in that one spot, huh? Is this mm -hmm. this little? Yeah. Does it? Interesting. Is it interesting to the left or right? Not really. That's down slope. Not really. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. We're going away from it. All right. That's we okay. Could, we could stay longer if y'all want. Yeah. Do we need to? <laughs> um, I'm push core sample, maybe? But they already took a number of push cores. Yeah, they have three of them. Um, wow. I think we're good to continue on. See what we can find. Back. You when you get a chance, do you mind if I get your help? Uh, talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? I don't know if you know much about like how to access like the live data on the website. But for some reason, it's not configuring. Oh, I do not know about why that would not be updating. Yeah, I made sure to have everything toggled right, but don't see the live data. Oh, it's up to them what way they want to go. Yeah. Um. The weather's easy. I'd say let's continue. Could we? What is? Is this a new rocky feature over there? What's that? More rocks. Which way are we facing? We Let's are now facing south e west southwest. West southwest. Mm. Yeah. If we go a little further that way, does that look like it continues in any direction? I don't know. You Let's might be at the end see. of your leash. No, no, I'm not. Mm -mm. All right, I'm going to kind of spin in your direction. Just trying to look around quick and see. So that's like, that seems to start up again ish. here, say. Okay. And then I'll fly back over it. And yeah, the sonar is not helping tell us much either, huh? <laughs> No, not at because all. Because it's relatively flat. <laughs> <laughs> and that looks kind of interesting, almost to the west. Could you zoom out real Ooh. quick one more time, uh, Cheyenne, on yeah. high pack? I think we're just going to have to pick a direction and see if anything <laughs> gets interesting. That sort of flattens out, huh? Could you look yeah, a little bit further south? Yeah, this was just like a little island. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, I um, meant Cheyenne. Uh, if you could oh, like, yeah. move Scooch a little up. Yeah. Okay, so it's not a ridge. It's probably kind of like a mix of random features over there. I think so. We'll just stumble <coughs> across them. Yeah. Okay, let's let's go roughly towards uh, Waypoint 3 then right now. Okay. And just see what we come across. I also can't believe how many acorn worms they were seeing. Yeah, there were tons at dinner time. That was yeah, that was so absolutely cool. wild. <laughs> Did you uh, put in for point three? I wasn't listening. I missed it as well. And at one one zero. Are we going at point three or point two? <coughs> I think we could. 
We can do point three. I'm slowly spinning to one one zero. Roger. Uh, Just trying to keep you in. Um, yeah, Daniel, my side dive data graphs are not updating either right now. Did you catch that, Cheyenne? Oh. Cheyenne, you're, uh, you're not on SPL there? Sorry. All good. Um, did you catch that uh, we're good with point three? I, I think. did not, but got did, it uh, now. Michael, are you good with point three? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I like how every time you communicate with the bridge, it's like you're telling a joke, you like laugh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what's our current um, bearing with the ship? Uh, uh, that 100 in? degrees. Okay. All right. Great. Getting turned around the right way. Sand flat. That was fun yesterday having the dive bot out getting to mm -hmm. tell us that that is marine snow getting oh. caught in those ripples. Yeah, we finally found out. Yeah, I love how well it's working out. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. that, like in my experience, it's usually like people have like, you know, don't don't get what right, I perceive to be that anything. level of success, right? They've been like saying they have this very, to do very well, very pleased. So that's yeah. just awesome. Yeah. It's tough, like I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's the first time it's been out on a... First time it's ROV, ever been, been out, out on, on an ROV. Yeah. First so time anything like that has ever been out on an ROV. Yeah, so that's really good, right? Yeah. They're not really having issues, and they're getting good good dive yeah. time, good results. It's nice that the Nautilus has the honorary prestige of having the first working ROM spectrometer on an ROV. Totally, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see it going far. Literally. <laughs> Just watch that little loop. Oh, run away. Oh. Mm. Could we fly by whatever that is there? Oh, what? That I covered up entirely. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to go with the... Uh, I think that might come out. Hold on. Um, Back to this turns racket again. Oh, Kidding. no. No, none of us can agree on what way to drive it. Oh, yeah, it goes I, under. That'll probably pop out. Okay, yeah. go ahead and zoom. Keep an okay. eye on it. I'm watching. Or I'll just spin around the other way. I'm watching. C pin? Oh, yes, it is mm -hmm. a C pin. Is there any more zoom on that by chance? Yep. Thank yeah, I'm going to have to put a negative half turn in that. That's that anthoptility, I think. Huh. Actually, no, I know. I was sure. say it's a little weird. Okay, I think All we're right. good there. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna take this. Yep. Turn out. I don't know. That looks closest. Hmm. Well, still cam is of no help. <laughs> no, no, no. There you go. Oh.
for anyone online who wanted to know, it was ice cream Sunday today. <laughs> I was very pleased that they had honeydew mochi ice cream. It was really good. So good. good. Yeah. Never had anything like that. That was delicious. And chocolate. Let's look well. down with the Atalanta camera to see how that folds out. It's okay. Alrighty. Good. Yep. All right. I good. will say. Oh, go on, Cheyenne. Oh, good to keep the ship moving. Yep. Oh, sorry, Michael. Yep. Yep. Another okay, 100, C pen of some pen. kind. Another one, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we can keep going then. No, or I think you it's good look? to zoom. Really Go ahead, curious. zoom. Are these polyps protruding directly from the... Yeah, they are. And if we could are look... We? Yeah, zoom real close on the polyps. if mm. Or however much we have. Yeah. Or if you get the still cam, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, all the polyps are on the one still side. Cam. It's I'll not... Get this that is going. Not, it's all good. This is perfect. Not what I ID'd before. Yeah. So I think this is actually how I don't see those spines. Is this some kind of the penetulacea? Nope. Um. Let's see if Steve can help us out. Mm -hmm. That's good there, thank you. Thanks. Okay, full wide. Um. Amber. Yes. Can I get the stills cam up? Yep. There's a little gauges one here in this cluster here. The, the small gauges? That one, if you can do it. Okay. Okay, do you see that in the chat, Loopy? Yes. I'm, am I blind? Mm -hmm. I don't see the spines. Where are the spines? Uh. Sharper at the top than the base. Okay. Uh, let me bring up the still cam. Uh, not very helpful. Do this one. Mm. Oh, maybe those are the spines, like all the little white protrusions. Like oh, when, when it's retracted yep. into that, it looks like a spine. Spines. Right. I see that. Mm-hmm. I guess I was looking for something pointy coming off of that. I that was also, sense. yeah. Huh. Interesting. to Cynidae is the family. Huh. I think that's a new one. Well, at least new to me. Can we look at this on the left, please? Mm -hmm. Oh. Shrimp. ahead and zoom. Hmm. Oh, 
fuzzy tufts of some kind. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Like a dead sponge that's I was about to say, it over. kind of almost looks like Fine. dead. I don't know. Like spic... Uh, mm. uh, yeah, that's hard to tell. Okay, thanks. Okay. Some seagrass, I guess. Oh yeah, it seems like something's up with the environmental stuff. But yeah. Like the yeah, to the public. Sorry about that everyone. Is What are your calculations saying there, Cheyenne? Um, well, we've gone pretty far. Mm -hmm. We have 900 meters. Well, So should we note should we note that Griffon is down or do you, do we think that was already accounted for? Mm, um, we can put it in a note. No one who it's relevant to will read that. Um, <laughs> so I will, I'll just talk okay. to them when they're awake. Shoot them a message. Or the watch who is on will complain when they're awake. <laughs> um, Balula, I think. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could we look at that a little closer? I think it probably is on Balula. Yeah, that's on Balula. Go ahead and zoom. Don't mind me asking, what okay. features are you looking for That's to tell you what this good, is? Thank you. Uh, Umbalula has that very characteristic, like one little umbrella at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Same as like Umbella Pathies, the black coral that has the same feature up, up mm -hmm. on top. Have to make sure not to mistake it for a crinoid. Yeah, there. It's it's pretty easy to see it when you um, to see the difference, just because you know each polyp has its own like central um, axis mm -hmm. where the tentacles stick out, and then a crinoid it just has one central axis where all of the arms stick out. Good to know. Is there anything, I'm assuming, not many, well, actually, never mind. Doesn't have his headset on. Oh, do we want to look at this? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and zoom.
A little black coral. Yeah. I, I, is that, it's growing from above and falling down, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, is that coming out of the sand? Bathopathies. And another one of those maybe prosocrinids. That's good on the zoom there, thank you. Thanks. Okay. You said that's maybe back to patties. Yeah. Is this another rock something up ahead or I can't it's hard to tell if that continues. No, I don't I was trying to take a peek, but I don't know if it does. Maybe. Almost looks like it extends, but who knows? Oh yeah, it does. Darkness. I can see it in Atlanta a little bit. And turn in, turn in a bit to see. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Another patch. Mm hmm. Yeah, I wonder why they're so patchy. Yeah, these weird exposed features and a whole lot of sand around them. Mm hmm. Not pretty stretched out now, so we're okay. not going to really be able to go in there unless you want to move over there. Um, yeah, maybe let's start the ship heading in that direction a little. I don't know, I can't tell how far this goes on. Uh,. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, let's just head head south-ish. Looks like a little atoll-looking thing, in a way. Do we want to look at this? Mm hmm Go ahead and zoom. We got a couple things going on, actually. Yeah. It's not going to be very pretty. It's all right. Oh. Looks plex. Yeah. Paramarisid. Yeah. Although kind of sparsely but branching. Yeah. Okay. And then a crinoid all by its lonesome. Yeah. <laughs> which usually. I feel like on this cruise we've only, s not only, but mostly seen them as associates. Elevated, yeah. All right, I think we're That's good, good here. That's good on that one. There's something. Oh, there's another sponge over, over there. Mm. I didn't even see that. So something right there. But I think it's a black uh, coral. Oh, yeah. Look at that next. Could we look at this right out of the frame on the bottom, uh, like a light branching thing? Yep. It's <clears throat> a cool shot of Herc. Two. Well, bouncy. Mm -hmm. You can come down a few more meters. You're that far Coming away. Coming down. It's okay. Oh. Go ahead and zoom. Hmm. Oh, like a hydrozoan. Ye. Yeah. Oh, with eggs. Uh, I I can't tell if that's like the same thing we saw in the hydrozone.